know I'm a hypocrite. I got to deal with that shit every day. That's taxing. Michael Jackson comes on and I got to settle that debt. I love the music, but he touches toddlers, right? Like we know he does it. Wait a minute, do some of y'all think... How many of y'all think Michael Jackson did not touch those kids? Be honest. I'd rather you be honest. We got another one. Okay, okay. I wish. I wish I could be you. Every time Mike comes on, you get to listen to King of Pop while I'm listening to the King of Pop and Cherries. You know how fucking lucky you are? You know how lucky you are you get to do that? I have to be honest with my feelings, okay? Here's the reality, okay? I feel like Michael Jackson touched those kids. But I also feel like he didn't touch enough kids for me to stop listening to his music. I do feel that way. I do feel that way. I'm not proud of that, but that is the way I feel, okay? You could probably feed him 10, 12 more, and I'm gonna keep listening to that shit. Every single time it comes on. Do you remember? No, I don't. <laughs> not at all. Keep on going, Mike. Do your fucking thing, okay? I know I'm wrong to have these feelings, by the way. I've tried to change these feelings, okay? I watched that documentary about them snitching ass kids. I watched it, I did watch it. I watched it, okay? I'm starting with the man in the mirror, all right? I'm trying to change his ways. I watched them, I watched them fucking crying the whole documentary. <laughs> I was molested by my hero. You lucky son of a bitch. Your hero? That's the best case scenario molest, is it not? Most people getting diddled by their bus driver, not their hero. Your hero. My hero growing up was Michael Jordan. If Michael Jordan molested me, I could walk it off. Probably in the freshest Jordans you ever seen in your life. Hey, bro, where you get them shits, man? You too old for these dogs.